play golf. There's a whole bunch of ways to play golf. Okay? Um, I have my opinion how to do it. A lot of people have different, you know, I'm really not a method kind of teacher. But there's a whole lot of ways to play golf. I'm going to go over some of these things in putting. And basically, uh, the idea is how you do it makes no difference just as long as you're able to return the club back to you know some proper positions when you hit the ball and be able to do that repetitively. If you can't do more than once or twice in a row, um, you need to make some changes. So let's um, let's start out with the uh, putting basics. Um, basically I think your eyes need to be over top of the ball and in line with the target line. Okay. Um, what I mean by in line, your, your, your ears need to be lined up. Your ears are pointing in the wrong direction, so are your eyes, and you're not going to see very well. If your eyes are not over top of the ball when you're putting, basically, um, basically you're sitting here putting, you're putting the ball down one line, you're looking down another line, optically those are, you know, you're looking at two different angles and you're not going to see very well. So I think when you putt, you need to get your eyes over top of the ball, um, over top of the target line, maybe not particularly over top of the ball. There's a guy like Nicholas, he was behind the ball when he putt. Yeah, yeah. His eyes were over top of the ball, so over top of the target <coughs> line. So that's the first thing we want to try to do. Secondly, I think your feet need to be about the width of the shoulders, just to give you some decent balance. And the ball should be played a ball or so inside your left foot. Uh, a ball or so inside your left foot is going to help you catch the ball when it's slightly coming up. A year ago, I told you differently. I thought the putter should be going down. But uh, from what I've researched, I've done and read, I think the putter ought to be coming up. We need to launch the ball in the air just a little bit. Just a little bit. We can only do that if we're hitting it just on the upstroke. I'll tell you, most of you should feel like you're hitting down on it because you're hitting up on it too much. But we need to launch that ball up in the air because we don't want to be banging that ball down into the ball into uh, footprints. We don't want to be banging the ball down into uh, the grain. We don't want to be banging the ball down into uh, uh, ball marks. So we need that that ball to launch just slightly above. And always turn your cell phone off when you're trying to be right. Uh, your shoulders. Shoulders are the most important as far as your body getting lined up properly. Your forearms would be next. Um, and your hands should be underneath your shoulders. Okay? What do I mean by your hands underneath your shoulders? Real simple. We we drew a straight line from the middle, down the middle of your uh, your shoulders should be right bisect right in the middle of your left hand. Uh, most of you carry your hands way too low. If you carry your hands too low, you're going to have an out to end and, and cut like a fuzzy zeller does. He carries his hands real low and you're going to get more of an out to end and kind of open the blade. That's the way it will naturally throw the top flow from there. So you need to get your hands underneath your shoulders. Most importantly, your shoulders and arms, shoulders first, need to be square to your target line very difficult. You have to manipulate that club if your shoulders are open to go down the line. Now, some of you are going to say here, Ralph, I'm going to be open and I feel I feel I can see the target line better. I don't have any issues with that. If it works for you, go ahead. But I'm going to tell you, if you get under the gun, it is much, you're, you're relying on your hands to shove that thing out there. You make it much more difficult for yourself to be repetitive and if you just lined up square. And again, that's why I'm going back down. You can fight cross in, you can fight standing on your head. Um, when I do my sh short game schools, I tell this story. Um, if you think about all the different kind of grips people use, we use a standard grip when they butt, we use a uh, left hand low or cross hand. Um, you see people putt with long putters or belly putters up your sternum. You see uh, people use long putters. You see them, the European guys, putt with a the putter. They used to they used to anchor it on their chin. Um, we see the claw. We see the saw. Uh, when I played, 
Mac O'Grady, Jim Nelford, uh, Wayne McAllister, hell, they played it left handed. Okay? Um, how you hold the putters is insignificant, makes a difference. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be that many different, different ways to hold it. So, you know, Bernhard Lana used that crazy stroke, which, by the way, I think is the best way to hold the putter. <coughs> you know, for somebody that doesn't putt real good when they clamp it on their left arm. My oldest kid still puts that way, puts a lot better than he ever did. So how you hold the putter, how you stand up, only matters if it, if it helps you, the only uh, significance there is it helps you be more consistent. If you're aiming to the left, aiming to the right, your arms do not naturally flow that way, <coughs> okay? You know, if, if, if my putting line is down this row and I'm laying, lined up over here, I have to do something to make my arms go that way. It's tough to do that under pressure. How can you tell if your arms are lined up properly? Your shoulders, let your arms drop, put your two fingers together, your index fingers together, and they're almost always going to point where your shoulders are pointing. 